Hey and welcome to my review on Dante's whole genome sequencing uh, kits and what I did next on some websites. So Dante's lab offers your whole genome to be sequenced, not just part of it. Um, and with that you get a health conditions report looking at a number of different genetic and inherited diseases. A customised report if you have something very specific you want to find out about. And also a pharmacogenetic report which looks at how your SMPs may influence your reaction to drugs. You get raw data from this, um, the data comes as a VCF file, you can also get access to the truly raw data, the BAM files, but you need to purchase um, a hard drive for I think it was around 60 euros to get this. So for this review I took the Myfold DNA whole genome sequencing with mitochondrial DNA and I purchased it during Black Friday for less than 200 euros, which is an absolute bargain considering this is a whole genome sequencing. It features 30x coverage, which means that any region of the genome is covered 30 times, which is very important because this gives you a very broad, reliable coverage of SMPs with less chance that there's error and missed calls. And in terms of what data you do get back when you access your kit manager, I got my wellness and longevity report, my pharmacogenetic report, and then access to the raw data file, which is a VCF file. Now, the reports are really interesting, uh, but what's really good is the fact that the raw data, you can take this elsewhere, and I do do that a little bit later on. And in terms of the, you know, the, getting the data back, I sent my kit on the 30th of December, and received it back on the 25th of March, which is just over 16 weeks, slightly longer than advertised, but I contacted Dante Labs early February and they did tell me it would be at the end of March. And I still think it's a fantastic turnaround time considering this is whole genome data. The VCF files are around 150 megabytes. And these reports, so the Wellness Longevity Report has a number of different diseases. Um, and you can see your report here. And this is the second report, this is a pharmacogenetic report, and you can see here a number of different drugs and how my genome might influence uh, my reaction to said drugs. And I found this to be really curious because this is quite a wide range of different um, pharmacological agents. And then later down in this report you do get a little bit more of a detailed explanation as to the reason why. And I think that's really fantastic. Now, taking that raw data, one thing that you might have to do, or more than likely will have to do, is convert this from the file format that's available from Dante Labs to one that can be read on different websites. So for example, um, GEDmatch will not take this Dante Labs raw file, so I need to convert this. And to do this you can use this app on sequencing.com called Eve Premium. It does cost $5 per conversion. So if you have a family, um, it's not a set case of just purchasing this app once, it would cost $5 per conversion. It's very straightforward, you simply select your target format. So from the VCF format, the only thing you can convert to is just to a text format. And here I left it as auto detect for the reference genome because that should be within the data. Now one website that I really did like, so I took this data after converting it, um, was to this genomelink.io. So based on scientific literature, they look at how your genome might be um, might influence certain things from food and nutrition, personality, which I consider dubious, but I'll mention more in a moment, and other things. So for example here for caffeine metabolite ratio, you can see you can look at different sample populations if it was covered, um, whether they consider the source to be reliable or not. And then lower down how my single nucleotide polymorphisms affect the phenotype. And what I really like, if you do want to consider this further, it links to the scientific literature directly. And I think it's a really, really good thing to do. I mean, but I really like this. I think this is a really nice website. And you can see here, for example, so from my Dante's lab data, um, for almost for most things, at least for this section, you can see there was coverage.
Now, this is something I did notice a few times. Um, your genetic tendency is inconclusive, and I'm not sure why. So the personality one, I would take with a pinch of salt. I think DNA and our understanding of genomics in general is quite in its infancy and we can't take too much from this. So a lot of this information might just be casually linked. But I still think it's a curious website to investigate and to look at. And there is something that I do want to highlight which I think is really, really important. So all these genetic tests, you know, they're part of a field that's, you know, of it's in its infancy at the moment and risk factors for SMPs and their implications are sometimes due to correlated data, aggregated data from scientific literature and it doesn't necessarily indicate clinical significance. So therefore I think this is really important to clinically understand your genome you should see a genetic counsellor. But in conclusion I really um, could highly recommend Dante Labs. The service is very quick for myself at least 16 weeks I think it's very much an acceptable turnaround time for whole genome sequencing data. On top of that you do have access to the raw data so the VCF files have limited use at the moment but this is more to do with other websites accepting that. However if you pay I think it was around 60 euros you can get access to your BAM files on a hard drive which is truly raw data that can be converted and manipulated in any way that you need to. Um, so in conclusion I, th I think it's a good service um, I recommend it, but I would also say going into this type of information, you should be careful um, and be aware that once you know something, you know something forever.